right. So this is gonna be a crazy weekend. I'm in Flushing right now. I'm meeting uh, Keith uh, from the Try Guys. We're gonna have some lunch. Uh, it's Friday now, and then tomorrow I'm going to the uh, the Shorty Awards. Tomorrow's the cocktail party. Then Sunday's the actual awards. Basically, it's gonna be a weekend full of food and meeting other social influencers. Something I don't get to do a lot because I, I don't get out much. All my friends, you know, they usually come from the kitchen. So, it'll be fun. Store closing sale. But you see those signs all around New York, but that's the first time I ever see like place with those signs and it's actually that many people. And they all seem to be Asian, so you know that's actually gonna be a good deal going on. Yeah, either food or, or a great deal. That's like the only two reasons Asians conjugate somewhere. By the way, this store right here inside the uh, New World Mall. These are my walks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's me. Get a walk. There it is. There's my walk. It's really nice and light. Hey, there's the man. He stands out because he's like seven feet tall in a group of Asians. What's up, buddy? I was just saying, you're like 20 feet tall in a group of Asians. I know. I, so. Last time I came to Flushing, I was like, I like Big Bird. Yeah. <laughs> First place we're going to, Joe's Steam Noodle. They steam everything fresh over there. Like that's the one thing you get, like that whole sheet, that's one noodle. You got beef going in, you got some sprouts and scallions and uh, cilantro. Oh, check it out. That whole sheet, man. Wow. It's a combo of rice and like flour. So, otherwise it won't steam well. You're gonna love this. I, I'm very excited about this. Yeah, man. It's gonna come out looking like that. We're gonna add some hot oil, of course. Yeah. So they're making the flour, the rice paste, Everything fresh. Oh so it cooks in like two minutes too. First of all, look at how thin this is. Yeah. This is like it almost looks like kimchi. Right? You know, like it has that layered effect that kimchi has, right. especially okay. with the oil on it. Wow. This is translucent. Wow. This is the thinnest rice noodle you'll ever see. So you can like eat it like a like a fruit roll up kind of thing. Wow, it's so thin. Right? Dude. Oh, and it's so good. So good, right? Oh, man. Dude, that mouth feels amazing with wow, some of that it's, beef. It's not gooey, but it is like very, very soft and wet. It's a little mochi esque yeah. because of the rice. The best rice noodles in New York. Did you get some of that spice on you? <laughs> Dude, careful, it takes some on the side. If you guys don't know, Keith has a tongue Ooh. where if it gets a uh, spice gets in there, it's not good for him. One noodle down, we got much more to go. Wow, let's do it. <laughs> Make the best pork burgers here. So they stew the pork right here. Oh wow. And we're getting half fat, half lean. Oh you yeah. get a little little mixture of things. The buns are freshly toasted and they're the only ones that make the buns really flaky. Yeah, look at that. It's like a biscuit. Yeah. Cold wheat noodles. Wow. We got our buns. Oh, yeah. Dude, you gotta dip this into this. Into that? That's how it works. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm man. just so excited for these bites of gluten free. It's weird because you look at those and you're like, well, I don't want that. And then you eat it. Oh, yeah, you oh, want I, it. I want only that. Mm. Hands down. Best down pee. All in New York City. It's so good. Oh, noodles have such a good texture, mm -hmm. so bouncy. Wow. All right. It's like a like a biscuit croissant. Mm -hmm. It has so much crunch. It almost has like a cracker. Yeah. Like a saltine, like that break of it. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Wow, that is just heaven. Right? This is just pure luxury. Dude, dip it in here. Yeah, man. Oh, wow. There you go. There you oh, go. Take a bite god. of that. It's the perfect amount of fat, perfect amount of acid. Mm -hmm. That is almost makes you cry. It's so good. <laughs> Favorite combos in New York City, like this is a must get. Oh, so it is so cheap. Unbelievable. When you're in New World Mall, you gotta eat some fish dumplings. Mm. That's a juicy dumpling. 
It was delicious. It was intense, but delicious. There's like a vegetable in there too, like a bok choy or a chai. Chai. Chai and fish. It's really good. All right, so a side order of potatoes and peanuts. And then double order of beef inside this uh, this, this crazy stew. Now down to your majesty, the Dumpling King has arrived. Favorite dumplings in Flushing. We're in New York. They're easily the best dumplings. Hot oil my malaton first. Hot oil my dumplings. Yeah, baby. I have so many dumplings. None of it is as close as good as this. A really good kebab place. But we're going in here. This place is really known for the roast fish and ribs. Oh. But nobody knows about the ribs. Cumin garlic sesame oh. ribs, my friend. Wow. Smell that? All those words are such good words. They are. My favorite ribs in New York. Like when you eat this stuff, you gotta add some of the, the spices on there. There you go. Oh, it's so much crispier than I expected it to be. Yeah. Mm. It's good flavors, huh? Mm -hmm. right. They don't go light on garlic. You can't kiss anybody. They really don't go light on garlic. Awesome hanging out with you. Oh, I'm so full. Until next time. Until next time. I'm gonna take a nap. Well, I'll see you at the awards show. Oh yeah, I'll see you. On good luck, buddy. Oh, that was a very. I'm very full. Fun day with Keith. Um, and uh, now I'm just gonna go get some rest. in tomorrow, VIP cocktail reception. Should be fun. Day two, I'm in the city. I'm going to, uh, um, it's a VIP cocktail party tonight. And before that, I gotta get some food. Randomly ran into the owner of Shinka Ramen on the way to a fun place, so he invited me to eat. And you never say no when free food is offered, so. Check this out, taco, tuna, and then lobster. And the skin is made with wonton wrappers. Oh my gosh. Let's start off with the lobster, how about that? Speechless. The wonton wrapper has a taco shell. That is just Asian genius right here. I mean, it is light. So light. But God, that flavor is good. I mean, it's not even like, this thing is not gonna fill me up. It's just gonna like make me hungrier. Mm. Sweet lobster flavor, hint of wasabi. I mean, it's satisfying yet very refreshing. So you're not gonna get overly stuffed. Hey, I'm talking to my stream audience here. You guys can, ooh. It's like video inception, spicy tuna. Huh, I like this better. Very rarely do I ever put anything above lobster, but God, I do for this. Next up, look at this monster plate of nachos. Same thing, it's gonna be a little light because the chips are made out of wonton wrappers. Little strips of beef, I think a little spicy mayo on top. Pickled onions, some guac sauce. The chips are so light. It's not those Dorito chips or it stuffs your stomach. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, guys. Those are great plate nachos. This thing is so meaty and saucy. This is easily all shoppable by one person. This is light chips. If you're a beef lover, get the nachos. Filming this on my camera right now and I feel bad for those of you who are watching this at home later. This is called a beefy archaeological dig right here. Oh my gosh. You see it glistening with juice, right? Yeah, a little bit of uh, pickled onions. This thing, if I if I tilt it and squeeze, it's gonna form a little waterfall. Mmm. This thing is so juicy, like a little drop is like running down my cheek. As soon as you even touch the meat. It's like a water balloon, it just bursts and all that juice is just running everywhere. Mm. This is not for beginners right here. This is for really serious bone marrow eaters and uh, juicy meat lovers. <laughs> a little river of grease, you can't waste that, okay? Take your bun, run it through, run it through. Oh. <laughs> that bag was all beef fat and gloriously soaked through the bun. 100% recommend this dish when you come here. Smoked duck ramen. Smoked duck ramen? Freshly smoked with apple with chips. Oh my good lord. What the what? The broth is made out of uh, duck bones, mm -hmm. the Chinese herbal vegetables. Yeah. The duck breast itself underneath yeah. the lotus root. Mm -hmm. It's also smoked. Mm -hmm. Some organic carrots and some microsalatron on top. Look at that. 
lotus root, smoked duck. So this is like a little duck sandwich with lotus. The noodles actually look amazing. I need to take a, take a bite of this duck right now. Oh. Hello. You know Donald Duck and um, Scrooge McDuck? They have a cousin called Smoky Duck and I'm eating it right now. So much smoke flavor in this duck. You can see the smoke ring too. I think I said the word smoke in the last minute 20 times. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We gotta do some broth here. Ooh, it's a little sweet. The soup is also smoky. Oh, it's very ducky. You know, you know how things can be really ducky? That's really ducky. Mm. Last but not the least, the grand finale. We have the Wagyu brisket beef oh bone marrow ramen. Ha! It's a torch to order the brisket. Yeah. Some garlic chips. Uh -huh. We have some green chives, some chopped scallions, the uh -huh. bone marrow itself, some soy marinated egg, and right underneath that is some pickled radish. Of all the ramen gods in the world, creamy, beefy broth, and it has a smoky flavor inside of it as well. Brisket. Oh. They really need to shoot that. That fatty guy just broke into pieces. <laughs> Such an awesome meal. Food gods are good to me. They're really good. This is the cocktail party? Doesn't look very... I don't know. I think I stayed for 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm so thirsty right now because of the ramen and I kept asking for sparkling water. And he kept giving me sparkling wine. Go out to my hotel, get some workout, get a good night's sleep and... Welcome to New York, then I'll see you guys tomorrow. Morning of awards day and it's raining. It's gonna be raining all day. Breakfast, Singapore comfort food. No one really knows about this place. This is a really good Singapore place. First dish, this is a fried whole fish with uh, peppercorn sauce. And there's a ton of little peppercorns on here, but the fish is nicely fried and crispy. Need some rice though to eat it with. Ooh, I don't need chicken, thank you so much. So tender. And juicy, dip it in some chili sauce. Mm. Great hot honey sugar here. And some traditional bakute. Tofu for those ribs. That is good stuff. Mmm, that's a good little fried fish. Crispy, flavorful, little fried fish. It's actually way better than I thought. I like my fish like I like my significant others. Really easy going. Gotta get ready. Gotta doll up a little bit. Fancy schmancy uh, ceremony with uh, red carpet so I can't look like my usual mess. I have like two suits that I wear once or twice a year and this is one of them. And if you're wondering, you've been watching me for a long time, yes, this is the suit jacket I got from Hong Kong. Anthony Bourdain's recommended tailor. It's definitely my favorite suit jacket. It actually fits. So I got bigger boobs than usual. What do we think? Good to go? All right, comb my hair, cufflinks, how are we good? This year's Shorty Award is gonna be in Times Square. It's raining though. We'll see how this is gonna work out. Absolutely hate coming to Times Square. Never come here unless there's some absolute need. Anytime you see like a cartoon character that looks cuddly and friendly, they are not. Finally found it. Red carpet now. Very, uh, very official right now at this point. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, hello, buddy. Oh, oh. These are pretty. Man, I really want one now. Oh. You guys want to see a massive pile of poop? There. Little baby burger, how adorable. Here. What's up? How are you doing? It's almost dinner time. So Alvin's here, Sean's here, Fresh Guy Cook's here, Justin. We'll see who's gonna win. We're competing today. We are in the theater. This is our table. 
Hi, table mates. On the menu, we have family style dinner. Okay, so it's a bunch of veggies, finger desserts. All right, so this is, this is dinner. You just grab whatever. Okay, celebrity story. I was going to the bathroom, and in front of me walks Terry Crews, one of my favorite actors, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, one of my favorite shows. And we go to the bathroom together, so we shared a little mini adventure in the bathroom. And two-time Emmy Award winner, Kathy Griffin. Didn't win the award, but kudos to French Guy Cooking. Uh, very deserving of it. I just want to thank you guys again for voting, and yeah, I got to participate. It's one of the finalists. Great experience. So you guys got me there. Thank you all so so much. Now I'm gonna drown my sorrow in a nice bowl of ramen. That's how I drown my sorrows. That is a nice pair of buns right there. I gotta say. It's a pair of buns making my mouth water. One of the best pork buns, if not the best one I had in New York. The meat is half melty, half chewy. This is like a delicious dream between two pillows. Next up, the gyoza, crispy on one side, soft on the other. Bad cop, good cop. Dad, mom, hot oil. Yeah, hot oil. Gotta put some of that hot oil in the in the dumpling sauce. I love this place already. I love it when the dumpling skin is so light. I mean, it's crunchy, but otherwise. It just melts and inside it's all that pork that's going to make your taste buds so incredibly happy. And the spice and the hot oil, that's giving me the jolt I need to drive home. This place is no joke. Seriously, this is everything I need right now. Everything. Oh, please. Get in my belly right now. Mm. That's a full body broth. Mm. That's a good broth. Really spicy. Oh man, that has some huge porky flavor there. Perfectly cooked noodles. Perfectly cooked noodles. Oh, look at this massive piece of chashu. You really gotta appreciate this, right? I mean, it is just falling apart. If you don't like to chew, you'll love this place. That's a melty chashu. I think it's time to do another noodle tour of New York City. Alright, finally back home. Fun few days, although I didn't win, but still a fun few days. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you later.